to keep going to the half time whistle five minutes he says and they go on again put the kick out James James Muscle getting ready they go on founded 40 years ago by Gabriel Keating in the parish of the Little Ark Father Meehan was defiant in 1850 and Navon are defiant today as they hold on to their lead here they go at the kick out James takes it again he's going for the, the, the high kick out and it breaks the ball breaks full win the break on this occasion full mean win the break but good tackling it's any place it's on the ground and the cool mean come forward with it and there we have Kevin Colley Kevin tries a kick but he's partially blocked down and Navone excellent defending again by Navone the Navone full back line are playing very good football today very tight very vigilant they're on to the breaks that looks like Patrick Foley raiding up to the other side Michael Dan as ever showing for the ball he might be a veteran but Michael is very nimble on the feet and moving very well and showing first for all the balls and the result of his excellent book he passed in field and it's a free to Nevon Niall Bonfield has the ball Patrick Foley being praised for his efforts Nevon wondering will is it worth taking the efforts is it within the range of Connor right now? They feel that it is, and so Connor is going to have a go. No, he isn't going to have a go. He takes a shot as it back to Niall Bonfield, and he dummies, and he takes again. And he puts it over the bar. That is a wonderful score. A wonderful score. Well worked. Nathan being told to keep the game going out half time and Niall Bonfield running through the middle that's good going by Niall Bonfield he tries to pass it's intercepted is that the road the road Lynch the captain yes. and a wonderful point again from Nathan and they're trying to keep the momentum up to half time and it's a line ball to cool me Cool mean coming away with it up here on the stand. Carl O'Connor being called to give the pass away. He lays it off away. And it's the number 12, Kevin Corrie, trying to break inside. Jim Hickey blows him up. He takes the free. Oh. But for a deer, and as they say, big deer more at cool mean. Because the shooting is a Hulker fad. Number 9, Michael Proof, but he's beaten by the opposite number 9, Larkin Inch, and Larkin Inch comes away up the field with his left leg. Great kick by Larkin, and who does he find again? The evergreen Michael Ledan. Michael is tying, tying with his full back offer at number. It turns left, turns right. What does he do now? Tries to keep the partial block down, ball broken out. And is it Gerard Lynch? It is. Gerard tries to get it back to Michael. Michael is surrounded. Cool means saying he's holding on, but he gets it away. And Gerard Lynch, it breaks to Gerard and Gerard takes a pop shot. And what a point. That's great stuff. Great work by Michael Ledan. Capped off by a pot shot from Gerard Lynch. And Gerard sends it over the bar. Nabon Mentor's delighted. And the referee blows the whistle. And why wouldn't they be delighted? At seven points to one, five minutes ago, Martin was under. The second half is just up and running here and it's Colleen on the early attack. It's nine points to one. Navo leading here as the second half is up and running. The ball breaks over to the far side of the field. Changes on the Colleen team. David Neenan is on and he replaces the injured Sean McMahon. He took a few knocks there in that first half. But again, out in the middle of the field, trying to win that ball back is Noel Meany. Getting the ball up back into the centre, but the ball very close to the line. Kept in play, almost kept in play, down to the right-hand side by Tomás O'Connor. But it's going to be a line ball down here to our right-hand side. Nine points to one. Four, and again, one of the uh, players coming off here, injured down here, right in front of us at the moment. But we stay with the play, and the ball goes to Tomás Coffey. Back out to Kevin Curry. 
high in the air but they're going to pull one back and the ball goes to the right and it goes wide in this opening few moments here of this second half into the middle of the field it goes the kick out ball breaking outside and again the referee is down there and the linesman is down there but it's going to be a line ball and the free is taken by Michael Brooks Michael Brooks pull me but again that play is broken up into the middle of the field to Pagani Pagani coming out with that ball passing the 65 meter line that sells the dummy at the 9 point it's still holding on to that ball Pagani is still going on to the 45 meter line across to the far side of the field out the other side is John Keating he's over on the far side of the field he goes to the ground with the referee as the ball goes to the right and it goes wide once again out there for the far side of the field one of the men out there was John Keating that was the man with the shot on the far side but it's going to be a kick out right down here and it's James Murphy placing this place it's going to be Aidan Curry placing this one down here to our left hand side at nine points to one Navo leading here again indications over to the far side of the field still one of the players uh, still receiving treatment down here to the left hand side Martin Daly just there on the edge of the pitcher on the 45 meter line urging the cool mean men here trying to get those I think it was seven wides they had in that first half maybe eight Aidan Curry still waiting for instructions from referee Jim Hickey at the moment and the kick out comes right down here down into the center of the field up the gopher breaking ball Kuhlman okay. winning that ball back in the middle of the field and trying to get the ball into his hand was Owen O'Connor but now it comes down to Cahill O'Connor in the middle of the field he goes direct a direct attack out to the far side of the field looking out there and chasing the ball is Alan Norman but all to no avail as the ball goes once again to the left and it goes wide nine points to one Navo leading here in the opening moments of this second half and now it's James Murphy getting ready to take the kick out for the Navo men right around the goal there Tomas O'Connor of course they are also in the full back position Pagani watching this kick out into the middle of the field. Ball breaks out here. Bing here. He's trying to get the ball into his hand. He does that out there ahead of Connor down. Trying to get the ball. Still trying to win that ball on the ground. Very, very good work back there outside by the cool wheel. Then back out to Michael Bruce. Good work back out here. Trying to get the ball into the centre. Out to Kahlo Kahlo. Kahlo Kahlo looking around. Seeing what the options are. Sends the ball in. Looking inside and finding Kevin Curry with the ball going to the far side of the field. Into the hands of those of David Neen and David Neen are coming in along the line but the end is going to tidy up for Nihon he's going to be Tomas O'Connor back out into the middle of the field to get the canary out to Niall Bonfrey Niall Bonfrey with the ball in his hand and he's sweeping out of there setting up the Nihon attack still holding on to the ball in the middle of the field gets it across to the far side of the field to John Keating John Keating sending the ball over to Conor Magna Conor Magna back into the centre to Niall Bonfrey Niall Bonfrey looking around sending the ball across to this side of the field to Darren Magna Indeed, chipped into the open space, looking for Douglas Dinch, almost down the right on the spot, but he's been fouled, and it's going to be a free in for the Navo, and right in front of the goal, and again, Conor Magna, tapping his hands here, and coming across to the far side of the field, getting ready to take this one, 9-1, they lead at the moment. Conor Magna, just inside the 20 meter line getting ready to kick this one Jim Hickey with the hands on the hips he sends this one in and he sends the ball straight over the bar it's 10 points for Navon it's 1 point for Colmean and we're 5 minutes into the second half here and it's what, had, what was a hill for Colmean at the beginning it's looking closer and closer right now to being a mountain for the men in the black and the stripes of amber on the jerseys the kick out comes to this side of the field Aidan Curry with the kick out the breaking ball into the middle of the field Noel Meany coming away with this one again sending the ball across to the centre half back Owen O'Connor Owen O'Connor chipping the ball across to the far side of the field trying to get that ball through and trying to hold on to that ball and sending it across to this side of the field into the hands that goes to Ben Cleary Ben Cleary again back down to the far side David Meany running out there he was the man that made all the work there a few moments ago back to Owen O'Connor Owen O'Connor trying to come through with this one and again he has been fouled and again it's going to be a free a dead straight in front of the goal and I can tell you back to the left hand side Kevin Bell McMahon is making the run 
It's 10 pints to one. It's Navon leading here as we head, are now heading in at the moment. We're almost seven and a half minutes in to the second half. And Kevin Dell McMahon only looking for the second score for the cool mean men. He's the man that got the first in the opening moment, also from a pace board. And Kevin Dell McMahon, the fullback, the captain, the free taker, and the only scorer so far can he add to cool means tally. Again, the ball hanging on the air, coming off the post, and the ball goes to the left, and it goes wide. Once again, Cool Mead, cutting up the wide. They're almost into double figures, I would imagine, at this stage. How costly will they be? As we said before, how costly will they be at the end of the 60 minutes? At the moment, uh, nine pints behind. Ten pints to one. Incredible here, the Kevin Bell McMahon, the only scorer uh, from a place ball for the Cool Mean men. As I said, as we head in to the eighth minute of the second half here in this Junior A Football Championship final, they're bidding for their sixth Junior A title, the men for Cool Mean, Naval Accord, bidding for their fourth. And what a year it would be to win it on their 40th anniversary. That's a long way away. James Murphy kick out into the middle of the field. Michael Brooks first up to it. Again, he's been fouled and gets the ball and in a hurry to take it. An attacking ball up into the centre of the court. Into the hands of goes to Alan Murray. Alan Murray trying to get the ball out to the far side. Out to Team Murphy trying to get the ball across to the side of the field. Now it's Team Murphy, the man that was waiting for it. Sending the ball in and sending the ball right across the goal. And the ball goes to the right once again. And it goes wide. Incredible stuff from Pooleen at the moment. There's a lot of the play. But really, they're kicking at the moment. There's a lot to be desired. And nobody but nobody will know that better than themselves. James Murphy getting ready for the kick out. Substitution unders at the moment. But it's going to be James Murphy getting ready for the kick out. And that he does to this side of the field. Again, going up for Connor Downs. The ball running straight into his hands. Getting the ball across the far side of the field. Therefore, he's hanging around there as well. And so also is Kevin Magnum. Kevin Magnum, young ball, sitting it up. Looking for Michael Adair. But now he gets the ball back and to the left hand side, getting across the Douglas Dinch to the far side. Couldn't make it, ball close to the line. Umpire the ball, waves his hand, and the ball goes to the left and it goes wide. And Aidan Curry, the cool mean goalkeeper, flicks the cap away. He's in a hurry. He knows that something is seriously needed from the cool mean men out here. Gets the sharper ball out to Kevin McMahon across to centre half back. Owen O'Connor sweeping up along the line on the far side of the field. Sending the ball into Keen Murphy. Keen Murphy along direct ball into David Dean and he's only on the field since half time but he's been on the ball three or four times in his opening night uh, in the opening ten minutes here and Carl O'Connor is there Carl O'Connor and he puts something on and oh superb goal from Carl O'Connor absolutely nothing out of that one a great build up all the way from the back Headed to Aiden Curry, he's the man that came up with the short kick out, holding onto the ball, he's the man that knew that the kick out, when God was going directly to his own men in the middle of the field, he changed his plan, it ended up with Carl O'Connor, a superb goal here, and again, 12 minutes gone in the second half, it's 10 points for Mayborn, it's one goal and one point for Colmeen. Is the game on? Have Colmeen finally arrived in Cooley Park in the Junior A football final? Down in the middle of the field. Tomas Coffey is fighting for this one. Out to the far side. Great ball. Getting the ball back to Cahal O'Connor. Cahal O'Connor getting the ball. The ball is almost getting it into the hands of Kevin Curry. Stretching out for the hammer. But the ball comes away. Out to the far side of the field. Hagini with the ball. Out to Lloyd Bunfield. Nye Bonfield coming right up the field with this one. Kevin Nagel going off his shoulder, but Nye Bonfield still going through. Chipping the ball in. Oh, super pass. But again, Carlo Magno just couldn't get that one. Nye Curry, like a book hit right that one, came out and chipped the ball out to more Neely. Out to Carl O'Connor in the middle of the field. Ten points to 1-1. One, one. The next goal should be very interesting. Brilliant back down there by Gavin Magno. And the ball going out, he's in the middle of the field. Out to Michael Brooks. Michael Brooks is pulled to the ground and it's going to be a free for the poor mean men. Ten points to one one. Again the ball going in. David Neal and winning that ball. Getting it across to Kevin Curry. Kevin Curry trying to cut in on the right hand side. But he have a pop. Looks around. Changes his mind. Again goes left. Goes right. Looking for support. Gets it out to David Neal. David Neal high. It's holding in the air. David Neal sends it in. Yeah! 
never need a sense of over the bar for cool mean. It's double scores in Kuzi Park as we're heading in here just over 12 minutes gone and David Meenan, what an impact he has made here in the second half. He's played a part in a lot of scores and putting one himself. 10 points for me one, one goal and two points for cool mean. As we said, 12 minutes gone here in the second half and James Murphy getting ready for the kick out. It'll be very, very interesting closing 18 minutes here. Only five between them. Into the middle of the field of four. Trying to win that ball and winning it once again. A cool man then. Back out to the side. Out to Cahill O'Connor. Cahill O'Connor. A long attacking ball. Ball breaking out to the far side. But once again, half only back there. Trying to tidy up for the year one. Getting out to the side of the field. Out to Connor down. Connor down. Trying to come away with the ball. Up along to Mike Bonford. Mike Bonford with the ball in his hand. Sending the ball. Still being chased out the other side by Owen O'Connor. Flicking the ball into the open space across the Oh, that's fantastic from Kevin McMahon. Tidying up the ball, coming away with it, down along the line on the cross side of the field. Down the ball goes to Gary Meaney. Gary Meaney being chased out the other side in the middle of the field, but getting it across to Noel Meaney. Noel Meaney sending the ball, and David Meaney is on the ball again, trying to hold on to it. Being challenged out the other side by Kevin Meaney. Back into the centre of the goal. This is Kevin Curry trying to come across with it. Again on his shoulder, still holding on to that ball. Into the open space, but again, Gallo needs to get there, trying to break it up. He goes back, gets it out, protecting Canary in the middle of the field, coming away with the ball. Ball goes to the ground, will he get a chance to get it up? Just about, still holding on to the ball. And again, the referee is down. Again, it's going to be a free for the ball. Michael Briggs looking around in amazement, as he said. And it's Conor Magnus taking the free. Down to this side of the field, close to the line, no longer close to the line. Coming off the hand of John Cleese, and out over the line. It's going to be a line ball. Noel Meany is looking for the ball. Now he gets it. And he's ready to take this one. Ten points for the neighbor one. One goal and two points for Cool Meany here. As we're now heading into halfway through this second half. Fifteen plus minutes left here. The ball going in. Once again being tidied up aside by Kerr Kearney. Trying to tidy up. Gets an output. Half 40. Sent to half back. Neighbor one. Setting up the attack. Into the middle of the field. But again, Cahill O'Connor winning that ball back. Trying to come through the centre, still holding on to it. And he have a pop, he fits the ball in, but the ball is going to go to the wide and going wide. In fairness to Cahill O'Connor, he's doing everything he can possibly do today. The only thing that hasn't worked so far is getting the ball between the two posts. But what a game he's having. Ten points for the other one, one goal and two for the men from Cool Mean as we head in 16 minutes gone here in this second half and again it's going to be James Murphy with the kick out again issuing instructions out there in the middle of the field now coming eventually with the kick out it's double scores in the pack the next goal will be so interesting as we said Cahill O'Connor as we said fantastic in the middle of the field getting the ball across into the middle of the field to Tomas Coffey back out to Owen O'Connor Owen O'Connor looking for options gets the ball across the Keen Murphy, Keen Murphy sweeping the ball across the far side of the field, looks like running onto it and trying to get the ball in his hand, Kevin Curry holding onto that one, again that attacking ball into the open space, that breaking ball, Tegini coming over, him, trying to win that ball back, Lock and Lynch back here to tidy up for the uh, Near one name to hit the ball across the far side, now into the middle of the field, near one on the attack, going to the ground and again the referee is going to move the players away and now he's one for this man with the ball in his hand at the moment, let's see what's going to happen and he's going to leave it right now at the moment, everybody moving away, a substitution coming onto the cool mean side, it's Paddy Curry as the man that has come on there, just there on camera at the moment, down here, the field is taken, down to the side of the field, trying to win that ball and trying to come away with it, holding on to it, as the man who's just reaching just a few moments ago, Paddy Curry sending the ball across to another man, Martin McMahon sending the ball back into the centre, Again on the attack is Kevin McMahon. Gets the ball across. Michael Bruce running onto this one at the first side of the field. Ten points to one goal and two. Trying to control and winning that free. Tremendous work from Michael Bruce. Kevin Bell McMahon. A very, very important free for the men from Cool Mean right now. Just five between them. When he kicks this, what will it be? He sends the ball over the bell. It's back to four points in Cusick Park. Ten points to one goal and three. James Murphy with the kick out, very close to the line down here, ball going out over the line, it's going to be a line ball for Cool Mean once again, down here, 
Det är bara ett tecken. Åter till Cyberfield. Åter till Queen Moffy. Queen Moffy ger hinder bara inte det slutar. Hon är inte det spar. Kevin Curry kan inte komma pass till Cyberfield. Och den till Cyberfield ger hinder sig. Kan ha tävlen. Och det är inte det bar. Och kan inte ge pass till Cyberfield. Det är Thomas Kaffi. Thomas Kaffi ställer ingen lång bar och kvar. Ball high in the air från Michael Bunk. Fyller det bar in. And the ball is going in. Det var frihet in the case. Och till pass. Det är bara en 45. It's going to be a 45 and taking this one, the ball chipping into the center. The ball going up in the air, the men going there with Paddy Curry to take that one. Getting the ball back out to the side of the field. Ball is high, holding in the air. Ball going up to the cross, a breaking ball. And it's tidied up back there by Tomasa Curry. Getting the ball out to this side of the field. Out to Peg Lady. He's been fouled and it's going to be a free. And it's going to be taken fast out there by Neville holding on to the ball. Nine Banfield with the ball at the moment in his hand. Let me remind you, it's ten points to one goal and three on the scoreboard here right now. Ten points to one three. Four between them here in the park. To the far side of the field. Come away with the ball. Into his hand is John Keating. We need that ball. Holding it to getting the ball across. With the ball going astray. Side over to the far side of the field. It's a long attacking dangerous ball. Great puck back there by Tomas O'Connor. Taking the ball over the danger on the far side of the field. Trying to win that ball back, waiting for it down here for the right hand side. There is activity. What's actually happening is Jim Hickey has gone down there, indicating it's going to be a free in once again for a cool mean back down here to our left hand, to our right hand side at the moment. And Kevin Bell McMahon will make his way down here to take this one. Just well at the moment, it was just off camera shot. Now it is, but it's Kevin Bell McMahon. Ten times to one goal and three. Again the ball coming back to Kevin Bell McMahon taking the 1-2 pass, sending the ball in, the umpire comes out, waves his hand, the ball goes to the right, and it's a bad and once again it's going to be James Murphy with the kick out. The scoreboard will tell you 10 times to 1 goal and 3 at the moment that the old James Murphy is still getting ready for the kick out down here on the 13 metre line. What a storming second half performance from Cool Mean. Trying to get back into this game and ever, ever so slightly coming back into it. Four between them. James Murphy, kick out into the middle of the field. Up to go for commanding catch in the middle of the field by Owen O'Connor. Getting the ball out to Michael Brooks. Michael Brooks there looking for assistance. It's Carl O'Connor being challenged out there by Michael Pantheon in the middle of the field. Still holding on to the ball. Back to this side of the field. And it's knocking up now. Knocking up now. He's coming the ball out to the ball going this way. I want to think so deep inside and in the uh, Almost in the half back line, trying to keep the ball in play out there on the side, trying to win that ball. Ball is here to move on on the ground, the referee is down there as well, and he's indicated that it's going to be, if they're not right, he's indicated it's going to be a line ball down here, and it's going to be taken. It looks like it's going to be taken at the moment. It looks like Kahala Kano is the man who's going to take this one, and that's exactly what he does. Right up into the centre with him. I come to Moscow, out to Normini. Normini, diagonal ball across. Waiting for it out to the far side, Declan Canary, David Neenan, ball going to stay, out to the far side to Gary Meany, back to David Neenan, getting the ball into the centre, ball going in, again the ball going back in and out and up and the air it goes, and the ball is going in, and the young player has waved away white flag as the ball goes straight over the bar, and Keith Murphy, it's 10 pounds for Neil Owen, it's cool mean, one goal and four pounds, with 24 minutes gone here in this second half. The kick out to the far side of the field. Oh no, Connor is there to tidy up. For Cole for Cole Mead, tidying up, setting up Kevin Connor on the far side of the field. Back out to Bargo, trying to win that ball and foul. It's Kevin Connor on the far side of the field for the Cole Mead men. And again at the moment as we head into the last five and a half minutes of this game. David Neenan is the man making the run over to the far side of the field. 10 points to one goal and four and David Neenan looking at the post at the moment will he have a pop at this one outside the 20 metre line but a very very difficult angle here for the man with 18 on his back here up he comes, ball is high, he's in the air, distance won't be a problem accuracy won't be though, the ball goes straight over the bar it's 10 points for Neyvon, it's one goal and five points for Colmean here what a nice five minutes we have here in Kinsey Park again looking around at the game, it's going to be Jane Murphy will be getting ready very very shortly for the kick out here uh, getting ready, but that's a superb score from David Neenan once again getting ready for this one James Murphy still waiting uh, for indications from the referee 
Jim Hickey for the kick out and now it arrives. James Murphy, kick out. Dermot Keating has just come onto the side as the ball goes to the cross side of the field. It's picked up out there. Into the hand that goes of Gary Meany. It's Cole Meany on the attack. David Neenan, ball pops out of his hand. He's channeled by Per Ganey on the far side of the field. They're working absolutely carelessly out there. Hamas Coffey with the ball in his hand. Still getting the ball out to this side of the field. Back out the ball goes to Keane Murphy. Keane Murphy trying to come through the centre. Trying to drive his way through the centre. Holding on to that one. Ball in the air. Sending it in. So close. Distance side netting. The ball going to the right and going wide. That ball could have gone anywhere. James Murphy with the kick out. We're into the closing few moments here in Tuesday Park. That breaking ball into the hands of Connor Brown. Getting the ball back to Nile Bunting. Nile Bunting speaking the ball across to the far side of the field. Into the hands of Pat Forty. Pat Forty back out to John Keezy. Holding on to this ball. So important for me to hold on to the ball. So important for Pony to set up another score. Michael Levine is on the attack on the far side of the field. Holding on to that ball. Into the centre. We are in the closing three minutes here. It's a plus additional time. Ball coming across to this side of the field. Trying to win that ball outside. It's a hard game. But coming away with it. Out to the far side. Pony on the attack. It's Cahill O'Connor. Taking the shoulder there. Just in time. And just as Dermot Keating arrives, he takes the shoulder. The free is taken fast. Back out into the middle of the field. Kevin Bell, Mark Mahan has moved out to the middle of the field. As Cole Meehan going to attack, sending the ball back. Basketball side from Kevin Bell, Mark Mahan. But again, great work out there by Kevin Magna. Winning that ball back. He's been fouled and it's going to be a free out there in the middle of the field. And it's taken out to this side of the field to Connor Downs. Holding on to that ball. Ten pints to one. Goal and five for the uh, cool mean men. Ten points to one five. Two between them. And Nile Bonfield has been busy. Out to the first side. Michael Ledan still holding on to that ball. Challenged by Ola O'Connor. But the power of Ledan holding on to that ball. Into the centre it goes. That breaking ball. But again it's going to be tightened up inside by Gary Meany. Trying to come away with that ball. Cool mean. Uh, they're in the wrong path.